Hello one and all, welcome to Seeing Through Glass. Welcome to Italy, more specifically Maranello, and more specifically than that, the Ferrari factory. Yes, I'm at the home of my favorite car maker in the entire world. And more exciting than just visiting this place, I'm here to collect a car. Yes, today I'm picking up a Ferrari Portofino M. down to Ferrari's Finale Mondiale, the world finals of their challenge series. It's basically Ferrari Mecca. It was actually Shell who invited me down there. I think you guys know I do a lot of work with Shell and recently I've even been looking at how they're developing their business to kind of handle the increase in electric vehicles. So Shell are using their very long-standing partnership with Ferrari. And when I say long-standing, I mean 70 years. In fact, the very first Ferrari that came out of the factory here in Maranello had Shell in the tank. So yes, they're using that partnership to research and develop cleaner, greener, more efficient fuels. Something else that we're going to talk a lot more about once we get down to Finale Bondiali. I'm headed right now to the world finals of the Challenge Race Series. I'm here with Shell, who develop the Scuderia Ferrari Formula One fuel alongside road car fuel. Did you know, for example, that it's basically 99% the same? What Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz put in their cars is really similar to what goes into this car. So by having race, I feel so much more part of everything that I love about Ferrari. It's a true full-on experience and a fantastic one. I'm honestly finding it so exciting to be surrounded by such iconic and modern Ferrari Formula One cars. But have you noticed how many of them, actually I think all of them, have really predominant shell logos on them? And this is the whole thing. It's so much more than just a stick on the car. It's not just a sponsorship. This is a real proper technical partnership. And as Formula One sort of moves forward, striving for sustainable fuels, that partnership, the Shell and Ferrari Formula One team partnership, is going to be absolutely critical in helping to find a way to develop a cleaner, greener fuel, not just for Formula One, but also for the road cars. Because all of this tech, we've known it for years, flappy paddle gearbox, the ABS brakes, all of these things have funneled down from Formula One to road cars. And it's the same with the fuel. So yeah, super exciting to see. This gives you an idea of how long-standing and important this partnership has been. Firstly, I have to thank Shell once again for getting me access to this incredible event, but I hope we've done a good job at kind of explaining how important these two companies are to each other, Ferrari and Shell. Ferrari are constantly sort of pushing forward to build the best, the ultimate race and road cars. And Shell are there trying to create the most potent, the most efficient fuels to fuel those cars. And race by race, car by car, year by year, both of them are just pushing so hard, so far forward, and as the world of F1 and road cars continues to evolve, so do the fuels. And so, I know I sort of bang on about Shell quite a lot, but it's because I generally find it interesting. Of course, my love of Ferrari, of Formula 1, of road cars, stems from an era where Shell logos were stamped all over Ferrari Formula 1 cars, and still are today. So I just have this sort of natural synergy in my mind with the brand, and of course with the beloved prancing horse. So naturally I feel drawn to working with them. But yeah, as I say, I spend my life putting V-Power in my car and I'm sure lots of you do too. So kind of explaining what goes into creating that fuel and what's gonna go into creating fuels of the future, I think is important and useful. And yeah, I hope you found it interesting. 